Today on Toy Shiz, get ready to hold on to your butts. Let's talk toys. Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. And today, we are totally checking out the most ridiculous, but I can't believe they made it. And I'm so happy that they made it. Figure uh, for 2021, I think, thus far. This is the Jurassic Park Amber Collection Mr. Arnold figure, Samuel L. Jackson from Jurassic Park by Mattel, and this is amazing. He comes with his own severed arm. When I saw the promo photos for that, I was like, this is a joke. No, Mattel did this, and that is why I go like, hey, congratulations. That's amazing. That's a collector's line right there. I'd like to see other, let's say, Hasbro, you know, go that route. Now, let's be honest, they've done blood and other things before, right? Star Wars has seen it. Marvel Legends has done it. But not to the capacity where they're giving us severed appendages. Just think of it that way. But anytime you want to give me Samuel L. Jackson with the severed arm, I'm, I'm going to buy that. And we're, we're going to look at it and I'm going to cherish it because this is going to be amazing on the back side of the box you get to see the head computer technician in jurassic park john raymond ray arnold reluctantly shuts down the park's power system in an effort to undo dennis nedry's destructive and dangerous programming after initiating the reboot arnold's decision to check the circuit breakers gets wildly out of hand nah that's what i love about mattel they come out of nowhere with these one wild packaging and two little little jabs, little things, and then they put severed arms in in boxes. So the <laughs> you cannot go wrong. Hey, I found this at Target. Here's the barcode if you need it. They are starting to hit Target store shelves now, along with the new Spinosaurus. So if you missed the other two iterations of that, here's your third time around. This is going to be fun. I'm really excited. Jurassic Park is classic. Jurassic World, yeah. Sure, uh, Jurassic Park is is really the way to go for me. All the classic characters. Now we're getting the smaller three and three quarter inch. It's just it's a lot of fun, and we'll pull out some Velociraptors and dinosaurs and such like that. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee and maybe about six packs of cigarettes. This is a look at the brand new Jurassic Park Amber Collection. John Raymond Arnold, Mr. Arnold to you by Mattel. And here's Mr. Arnold all out of the packaging. And yeah, he comes with very relevant accessories for this type of character. Of course, it's a scientist man. So think about that. But yeah, everything is very relevant to Jurassic Park. And that's the best part of, I think, about this figure. The accessories is where it's at. You get a headset straight from Jurassic Park in gen, right? Rendered nicely, there's not much to it, but it fits over his head. You get a couple extra hands, so you get the, uh, hey, don't take my hand, kind of handshaking kind of hand. <laughs> and then you get a coffee cup, cigarette holding hand, right? And then you have one of the best accessories ever. It's like an old computer, right? You can have, if they ever make Lex, have her sit down and hack the computers. It comes <laughs> with the screen, the modem, everything. It's all one piece. It's hollow underneath. But a nice sticker on the front shows all the gates going haywire like doo, 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 doo. you know you know the sounds right you, you hear it in your head but all the telemetrics and everything else that's that's a beautiful accessory but the, the one the main one everyone wants to see the old <laughs> severed arm look at you can see like the bow you know oh man this is this is great this is fun it's a really nicely rendered arm you know, with, with the shirt. He's got his little striped shirt. Not too much blood on it with, like, down below. They didn't get grotesque with it, but it is. it looks right out of the movie. We'll just say that. Mr. Arnold himself. Again, scientist man. Does it look like Samuel L. Jackson? Yeah, I think so, for the most part. Really nice little Jurassic Park logo on his jacket. And it's just a very simplistic figure. I think that the head is a little bit cartoony, it's with all the the face printing tech and everything else. Yeah, it could have been just a smidge better, but I honestly don't have a problem with it. I think it looks enough for Mr. Arnold as I care about. It's really just have some fun with Jurassic Park. And yeah, that's it. The head, the articulation of the head is a bit stiff. At least on mine, tried pushing it down, tried loosening it. 
it's very much just hard to move around and it doesn't really look back or up. It reminds me of the Mattel DC Multiverse, like the last round of those figures. So that's a little wonky there. The articulation in the arms is good. You can see like underneath his jacket, yeah, you can pop this off, but then it won't match his shirt, but his severed arm totally does, right? And it's ups, downs, left, right, swivel at the bicep right there. He's got double jointed elbows. It's more articulation than you would need for a scientist from Jurassic Park, but it is all there. So you can sit him in a chair and do all that kind of stuff. He's got semblance of an ab crunch. Again, he'll go back more than he will go forward. He will twist at the waist. What do you need ab crunch for <laughs> on a scientist guy? He will kick out. He's got double jointed knees, which work. Yeah, that's good. And he also has thigh rotation, right? So you're beating McFarlane there. And the boots, the shoes, not much. They'll kind of go up and down. You can get him to stand. He stands really nicely once you get him positioned. So in all honesty, it's a it's a great figure for what it is. But the best part is you can, and I didn't know this, you pop the arm off and he has the severed, and there's still blood on that end. So <laughs> you can't put the severed arm and, the, and his arm together. You can't do that. But... I mean, why would you? You got this, right? You got a little Jurassic stump right there. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, that's uh, that's awesome. I'm so glad they did it. If you want to go ahead and put his headset on, I think that that fits great. That looks good. No complaints there. The best is really matching him up with other action figures and other action figure lines. So you have Jeff Goldblum from Marvel Legends. <laughs> and that's, that's part of the fun. Uh, photographers... People on the internet, you know, social media, have at it. This is going to be a blast. He is taller, though, than most Marvel Legends, I will say. Like, let's say you have this Samuel L. Jackson, which does have face printing. You can see the differences, albeit that this is a younger version of Samuel L. Jackson from the Captain Marvel movie. But yeah, you can see the difference. And here he is with Stan Lee. So I think that Mattel, in all honesty, start doing the, the face printing. I think that's... The way to go. I think articulation is there, but that's that's the logical conclusion. And then, of course, you have him standing next to the Amber Collection Velociraptor. Now, I did pick this guy up a while back, and it's perfect that I did because now these two go together perfectly. Or was it the Raptor? We don't know. We don't even know. Maybe Mr. Arnold could be could be alive. You know, just an arm, right? <laughs> Just an arm. And yeah, because he is in more of that six inch scale, he will tower over the usual dinosaurs, the raptors and such. So keep him within the amber collection. And still, this is one of my favorite Jurassic Park dinosaurs. Look for the mark of Jurassic Parks. And I can confirm because of the added articulation to this Mr. Arnold figure, he can indeed hold on to his own butt. Look at him all proud of himself there, holding on to his butt. So that's really going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new Mattel Amber Collection Mr. Arnold figure. If you are looking for a scientist man figure, that it works perfectly. If you're looking for a great conversation piece or just to have a good laugh and take some great photos with other figures in your collection, it's a must. Is it the best figure ever? No. Is it something you absolutely must have? No. But if you're a fan of Jurassic Park, or if you've collected Jurassic Park figures for quite some time now, yeah, it's a no-brainer. The fun of it is the accessories and the arm. That's why I had to have it. So in that sense, yeah, pick it up if you see it and take some funny photos with it. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, I hope that throughout this entire video, you are holding on to your butts and thinking of me. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.